refer to figure 3.58, a flexible rectangular area is subjected to a uniformly distributed load of a Q is equal to 2 to 5 kilonewton per meter squared. Determine the increase in vertical stress at depth of Z is equal to 3 meters under point A. We take a look at this figure. We have here a rectangular loaded area. 6 meters is our L. 3 meters is our B. Q is given to be 225 kilonewton per meter squared. We are to determine the effect of this load at this point, point A, and point A is uh, 3 meters below this corner. We can observe that point A is at the corner of this rectangular area. So uh, let us solve. First and foremost, we have to determine the value of uh, M's and N. We said that M is equal to B divided by Z. Our B is 3 meters and the depth is 3 meters. So uh, 3 meters divided by 3 meters is 1. And then for the value of N, that is uh, L divided by Z. The L dimension is 6 meters. Depth is uh, 3 meters. So uh, 6 divided by 3 is 2. We now then consider method 1, which is uh, by the use of uh, equation, to solve for the value of I of 3. Keeping in mind that uh, this has to be converted into region. So since we already have the value of uh, M and N, we can directly substitute to our equation, and that is simplifying I of 3 is equal to uh, 1 all over 4 pi multiplied by 1 divided by 1, 0.143 plus 1.369. So uh, this value has already been converted into its uh, regions form. And the value of I of 3 is 0 0.1999. We now substitute the value of uh, I of 3 to our equation. Q multiplied by I of 3. And uh, Q is given to be 225 kilonewton per meter squared times 0 0.1999. The vertical stress increase at point A is 44.977 kilopascal. Solving the same problem with method 2, that is the use of a table in uh, getting the value of I of 3. And uh, using a table 3.9 variation of I of 3 with M and N. M is 1, N is 2. We have here the value of M and we have here the value of N. So M is 1, N is 2, and that is somewhere here. So uh, the 2 uh, intersects together at this point, this now becomes our value of I of 3, which is the same as that of uh, the value that came out from using the equation. So therefore, we expect that we will be coming up with exactly the same value of vertical stress, which is uh, 44.977 kilopascal.